Christmas tree farming is the process of growing and harvesting trees specifically for the holiday season. It is a complex and time-consuming process that requires careful planning, management, and execution. Planting. Christmas tree seeds are typically sown in a controlled environment like a greenhouse. After a year or two, the seedlings are then transplanted to the field. Seedlings are typically planted in the spring. The spacing between trees will vary depending on the species and desired mature size. Watering and mulching. Seedlings need to be watered regularly, especially during the first few years. Mulch helps to retain moisture, suppress weeds, and regulate soil temperature. Fertilization. Christmas trees need regular fertilization to promote healthy growth. Harvesting the trees. Timing. The harvest time depends on the species and desired height. Generally, it takes 6 to 10 years for a Christmas tree to reach maturity. Farmers harvest trees in late fall, just before the holiday season. Cutting. Trees can be cut by hand using saws or with specialized tree cutters. The cut should be made close to the ground at a 45 degree angle. Some Christmas tree farms offer a choose and cut experience where customers can walk through the fields and select their own tree. This option allows customers to choose a tree that is the perfect size and shape for their home. It also provides a fun and festive experience for families. Baling Christmas trees. After a Christmas tree has been cut and processed, it's time for the baling process. This step serves two important purposes. Protection. Baling protects the tree from damage during transportation and handling. Ease of transport. The compact bale makes it easier to load, transport, and unload the tree. Palletizing. After cutting, trees are transported to a processing area where they are shaped and graded based on size, fullness, and quality. Christmas tree transportation. Once Christmas trees are harvested, baled, and palletized, it's time for the crucial step of transportation. Getting these festive symbols to homes and retail outlets requires careful planning and execution to ensure they arrive fresh and undamaged. The journey home for your Christmas tree. Loading. Palletized trees are loaded onto trucks or trailers using forklifts. Securing. The pallets are secured with straps or chains to prevent them from shifting during transport. Trucks and trailers carrying Christmas trees travel to regional distribution centers, retail outlets, or directly to consumers who purchased a farm-grown tree. The United States is the world's largest producer of Christmas trees, followed by Canada and Denmark. There are more than 350 million Christmas trees grown in the United States each year. The average Christmas tree farm is about 10 acres in size. It takes about 8 to 10 years to grow a Christmas tree that is 6 to 7 feet tall. About 25 minus 30 million Christmas trees are sold in the United States each year. Pagans in Northern Europe used evergreen trees to celebrate the winter solstice, a time of year when the days are shortest. They believed that the trees symbolized life and fertility. The first decorated Christmas tree was put up in Riga, Latvia, in 1510. The tree was decorated with fruits, nuts, and candles. In the 17th century, Germans began decorating their Christmas trees with small candles. These candles were often made of beeswax and were decorated with colored ribbons. They are then delivered to retail outlets or sold directly to consumers at choose and cut farms. The most popular type of Christmas tree in the United States is the Fraser fir. Fraser firs are known for their dense foliage, strong branches, and pleasant aroma. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great content.